It's time for person, place, or thing. Our first player is Christine, and her favorite person is Paul Rudd. Our second player is Naomi, and her favorite place is Tokyo. And our third player is Kawan, and his favorite thing is Oreos. And now she has the wit of Elizabeth Bennett, the resolve of Jane Eyre, and a hunchback that would make Quasimodo blush. Our host, Melissa Peterman. Oh, thank you, Jamie. Welcome to Person, Place, or Thing, the only show where the players ask the questions. And if they ask me the right ones, they are going to go home with cash and prizes. And playing with me today, I have three fantastic contestants who are here to battle it out for their shot to win our grand prize of $5,000. <laughs> yes, you can clap. It's cash, all right? And back for a third consecutive day, it is our returning champion, Naomi, who's won hotel stays in Playa del Carmen and Costa Rica. Nice. <laughs> but I know she's hoping to make it back to that final round and win that $5,000. But I think that Kawan and Christine might have something to say about that. Are you ready to get started? Yeah. yeah. Yes, okay. <laughs> in our first round, we will play each category, our person, our place, and a thing. You can ask me yes or no questions, and I will be giving you clues. Let's get started. Well, hello, Naomi. Welcome oh, back. Thank you. How does it feel, day three? <sighs> I'm still a little stressed. You're still a little stressed? So, when, you know, you, you told me that your kids were like, Mom, I just want you to get on the board, score some points. What did they, how how'd they react when you told them, I'm back again for the third day in a row? They said, where's our money? Where's your, okay, well, then we got to get started. You got to get some cash. Okay, well, we're going to start off this round with our person category. And I can let you all know that this person is a is an actor. Actor. Does this person act in the movies? Yes. Mm -hmm. Hello there. Hi, Kwan. How are you? I'm good. Welcome to Person, Place, or Thing. Is... Oh, you, he's right oh. to the question. <laughs> oh, I'm all ready for some like some small talk and chatting it up, but no, let's get right to the question, Kwan. You gotta, you got, we got a game to play. Is this actor a guy? No. Mm -mm. Hi there, Christine. How Hi. are you? I'm great. You love Paul Rudd? Kind of. Yeah. I mean. It, who doesn't? Who doesn't love Paul Rudd? Yeah. I mean, he's like the litmus test. He's my spirit animal. He's your spirit animal? Yeah. Does he know that? Not yet. I think he does now. He probably does. He watches every day. Hi, Paul. Oh, call me. Um, so, Christy, we're talking about an actor, not a guy, known for movies. Is this actor over 50? No. <laughs> Neither am I. Okay. All right, time for your first clue. Get your buzzers out. If you buzz in, you get it right, you got 100 points. If you're wrong, you are out until I give another clue. She won a Tony Award in 2022 that made her an EGOT winner. Christine. Is it Kristen Chenoweth? It is not Kristen Chenoweth. That means you are out until I give another clue. Naomi, EGOT winner. I'm only four away. <laughs> You got a people's choice, so that'd be a P-got. But anyway, never mind. Go on. Has she won any other big awards? Any other big awards? Big. big. Naomi, do you know what an EGOT is? That's an Emmy, a Grammy, an Oscar, and a Tony. Um, I mean, maybe, I don't know. Uh, an Olympic gold medal. Olympic gold medal. I don't know if she's got what I've got, which is, you know, Burnsville High School Alumni of the Year. Um, <laughs> But uh, any other big awards? Um, uh, yes. <laughs> I mean, is, if that wasn't enough. Okay. All right. Kwan. Does she sing country music? I'm going to say no. Not no. known for that. Okay. You do not get to ask a question this round, but time for a clue, so get your buzzers out. She co-starred with Eddie Murphy and Beyonce in the Dream Girls movie. Christine. Is it Jennifer Hudson? Yes, it is yeah. Jennifer Hudson. Great job, Christine. 100 points to you. Well done, well done. Okay, Kwan, it's your turn to kick off this category, and we're going to play our place category. And I can tell you that this place is a country. It's a country. Is this country in Europe? No. Mm -mm. Christine. Is this country in North America? No. 
Naomi. Is this country in Asia? No. Time for a clue. Buzzer's out. This country has won the FIFA World Cup five times. Come on. Brazil? Yeah, Brazil! 100 points, well done. Christine, you are going to kick off our final category in this first round. This is our thing category, and I'm gonna let you all know that this thing, it's a work of art. Work of art. Is it a painting? Yes, it is. Naomi. Does it reside in Europe? Yes. Come on. Is it of a human? Yes. Time for a clue. Buzzer's out. This thing is a mural painting from the 15th century. Naomi. Is it The Last Supper? Okay, I got my bowl. Wow! How did you know that? Luckily, you didn't say woman because it. I don't that know, might have thrown you maybe a girl human, with a mm -hmm. I was like, oh, mural. Mm -hmm. There's so many. There's humans. a lot of them there for this last supper. Well, well done. Thanks. I love this kind of game. <laughs> Everybody is on the board. Fantastic first round, everyone. Naomi, Kawan, and Christine are all tied up at 100 points. But up next, even more great questions, greater clues on person, place, or thing. <laughs> Do you want to learn more about our show and meet today's super fan? Use your smartphone to scan the QR code in the corner of your screen, and you will not only meet today's super fan, Ludmila, but you're going to get access to behind the scenes fun and bonus content. Welcome back to Person, Place, or Thing. Here's our very own work of art from Picasso's Cubism period, Melissa Peterman. <laughs> Thank you, Jamie. We have a great game here. Everybody is on the board with 100 points, and it's time for round two. We play our second round the same as round one, except we're gonna double the points, and you get to pick the category that we're gonna play with. Naomi, you're gonna kick us off again. So, what would you like to play? Person, place, or thing? Place, please. Place, okay. I can let you know this place is a business. A business. Is this a business solely based online? No, it is not. Come on. Does, does this business sell clothes? No, it does not. Christine. Does this business serve food? Yes, it does. Time for a clue, get your buzzers out. Remember in this round, everything is worth 200 points. This business is a restaurant founded in 1964. Okay. Naomi. Is this business a chain? Is it a chain? Yes, it is. Kuan, 1964. I'm guessing you weren't around then. No, I was not. I wasn't okay. thought about either. Not even, yeah. Your parents oh. probably hadn't met or anything. I don't know. Yeah. Um, is this business in America? Yes. Mm-hmm. Christine. Does this business serve hamburgers? Yes, but not known for that. Time for another clue. Get your buzzers out. This fast food sandwich chain's logo features a cowboy hat. Come on. Ooh, ah! Time's <laughs> up. Okay. No. That means you are out until I give another clue. Okay. Naomi. Um, is this business Arby's? Yeah, it's Arby's. I love their curly fries. Curly fries, <laughs> beefy cheddar. Oh, someone give me an Arby's. That sounds good. All right, 200 points to you, taking you into the lead. And Kawan, your turn to kick off. What would you like to play, person, Please. place, or thing? I'm going to do a place. A place, okay. I can let you know that this place is a U.S. city. U.S. city. Okay, is this place on the West Coast? No. Mm -mm. Christine. Is this city in a southern state? Yes. Mm-hmm. Naomi. Is this city a capital city? 
It is. Mm -hmm. All right, get your buzzers out. Time for a clue. The Country Music Hall of Fame is located here. Naomi. Nashville. Yes, Nashville, Tennessee. Love that city, so much fun. Great job. Another 200 points to you. Well done, well done. Christine, last but not least, you get to pick what category we're playing. What would you like to play, Christine? Thing. Thing, okay. All right, this thing is a drink. It's a drink. Is this a carbonated beverage? Yes. Mm hmm Naomi. Is this drink alcoholic? Uh, no. I remember a few days ago that was not your strong suit. No, no okay, okay, no. Juan. Does this drink start with the letter P? No, it does not start with the letter P. Time for a clue, get your buzzers out. It was named after a famous child star. Naomi. It's a Shirley Temple. Please. It is a Shirley Temple. Great job. That. that drink, you know, I love it. It's, you know, 7-Up, a little cherry, all of that stuff. Very, very good. Well, great job. You got yourselves another 200 points. Great round, everybody. We've got a great game. Our returning champ, Naomi, is in the lead with 700 points. Kawana's 100 points, as does Christine. But up next, we're going to speed things up and see who's going to walk away a winner on person, place, or thing. Where is my Arby's? If you want to be a contestant on Person, Place, or Thing, go to personplaceorthingontv.com. Welcome back to Person, Place, or Thing, where apparently an EGOT is not enough for some people. <laughs> we have a great game here. Our returning champ, Naomi, is in the lead with 700 points. Kawan has 100, and Christine also has 100. But that could all change in 90 seconds because it's time for the speed round. Get your buzzers ready. I'm going to read a series of clues about a person a place, or a thing. If you think you know the answer, buzz in, and if you're right, you got 500 points. If you're wrong, you are out, but just until the next category. There's a lot of points up for grabs in this round, so it is still anybody's game. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, yes. Jamie, put 90 seconds on the clock, please. You know, my spirit animal is Groundskeeper Willie. <laughs> So weird, okay. All right, good luck contestants. Time starts now. This person started his career as a stand-up comedian. He piloted his sleigh in the Santa Claus. He is what, Christine. Tim Allen. Yes, the first explorer to reach this place arrived in 1911. It's located in the largest desert on Earth. The coldest temperature ever recorded here was negative, Naomi. Antarctica? No, this place is in Antarctica. Anyone? Time up, South Pole. This thing is a team sport that all genders can play. It is played on grass or turf and was originally created by Native Americans. It is played with a netted stick and a ball. Goal, Kwan. Field hockey? No, goals are scored by shooting the ball into the opponent's net. Naomi. Lacrosse? Yes, this thing is a creamy dessert. It can be sweet or savory. It often has raisins in it. It can be, Naomi. Ice cream? No, it can be made with jasmine, white, or basmati varieties. Anyone? Next, rice pudding. This person played a pivotal role in the women's suffrage movement. The 19th Amendment is sometimes referred to by this person's name. She was the first woman to appear on a U.S. circulating coin. Christine. Susan B. Anthony. Yes, this distilled spirit originated in the region of Serono, Italy. There are cookies flavored like this liqueur. It, Naomi. Amaretto. Yes, this fictional place is located in the realm created by J.R.R. Tolkien. Middle Naomi. Earth? What? Middle Earth? No, the homes in this place are often built into hills. One famous resident here is known for his fondness for second breakfast. Anyone? Okay, all right. Again. Great <laughs> round, everyone. Kawan and Christine, you were in it to win it, but you didn't get enough points to beat Naomi, our reigning champ. So Naomi, congrats. You are going on to play our final round. Kawan and Christine, I love having you here. I hope you guys had a great time. We did. Okay, and we're not gonna send you home empty-handed. So Jamie, tell them what they've won. 
Buttercloth's new icy cotton shirts are infused with the patented cooling power of organic mint fibers. Shark Tank investor Robert Herjavec says they make you look like a Friday night and feel like a Sunday morning. Visit buttercloth.com. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed those. And congrats, Naomi. You are moving on to play for $5,000 in our final round, sponsored by Slotomania. Jamie, tell them about it. Promotional consideration provided by Slotomania, the number one free slots game. Download Slotomania now and get 1 million free coins. Stick around to see if Naomi is going to win that $5,000. We're going to be back right after this. Now it's your turn to play. Scan the QR code to win this amazing prize. The La Quinta by Wyndham in Nashville. Music City's newest hotel offers spacious modern accommodations and close to the popular attractions. WyndhamRewards.com, the world's number one hotel rewards program. Good luck. Welcome back to the final round of Person, Place or Thing. Naomi, who's about to play for $5,000 from our friends at Slotomania. Jamie, tell them about it. Slotomania, the number one free-to-play slots game in the world with millions of players and non-stop fun and excitement. Scan the QR code to download Slotomania now and find out what will today spin. Thank you, Jamie. Okay, Naomi, this is your third time here. You've played it beautifully every round. You have been like just seconds away from taking it all home. I think you can do it. I know you can do it. And here's what you got to do. You have to correctly identify a person, a place, and a thing in 60 seconds. You can start with any category that you want to. You can ask me as many yes or no questions as you need, and guess as many times as you want. And Naomi, I got you. I have got three clues for you, okay? You can use them any way you want. Just make sure that you use them. You correctly identify your person, your place and your thing, and you're gonna get $5,000, and we are gonna give our super fan, Ludmila, $500, and she's gonna get a dryer. So you ready to yes. do this? Yes. Okay, your person is an entertainer. Your place is a university. And your thing, it's a play. Which category would you like to start with? Place, please. Jamie, put 60 seconds on the clock, please. Hmm. I wonder whose Arby's this is. <sighs> Don't eat it! Save it! Good luck to you, Naomi. Your time starts now. Is it in the United States? Yes. Is it on the West Coast? No. Is it on the East Coast? Yes. Is it Harvard? No. Yale? No. Uh, MIT? No. Can I please have a clue? This university is named for the large East Coast city where it's located. Uh, pass. Okay, thing is a play. Is this show on Broadway? No. Has this show been on Broadway? Yes. Uh, Phantom of the Opera, Les Mis. No, no. Um, uh, clue. This play was written by William Shakespeare. Romeo and Juliet? Yes. Entertainer. Um, is this person alive? No. Is this person, was it a person in movies? Yes. Was this person a, a female? No. Uh, clue, please. Austin Butler received an Oscar nomination for playing this late American icon. <sighs> um, pass. Okay, university. N NYU. Yes. Okay. okay. Um, uh, American Icon. Is this movie, um, uh, Entertainer. Entertainer, okay. A singer? No? Yes. Ah, uh, I don't know. Willie Nelson. No. Yeah. I didn't know what came with that. Well, we were looking for Austin Butler received an Oscar nomination for playing Elvis. Elvis oh, Presley. Oh, that's recent. You I did don't... great. No, don't even worry okay. about it. Uh, you got NYU. You got Romeo and Juliet. And you know what? You got two out of the three. We're not going to send you home empty-handed, Naomi. Jamie, tell Naomi what she's won. Westward Loop, Wyndham Grand Resort and Spa. Situated on 80 acres of desert oasis, this upscale resort offers a sophisticated southwestern getaway in the heart of the Sonoran Desert. Enjoy a host of amenities like a full-service spa, three pools, and nature trails. WyndhamRewards.com, the world's number one hotel rewards program. Okay, Naomi, that's pretty great. I know the mom, you've got two boys. You need, like, three hotel stays, okay? And the best part, you're coming back to play for another chance to win $5,000 as our returning champion. And Ludmila, thank you for being today's super fan. You can come to my house and dry your clothes. As always, this person is grateful to be in this place doing this thing. We'll see you next time. You're still watching? Oh my God, thank you. Well, in that case, be sure to stay up to date with Person, Place, or Thing by smashing that subscribe button. There's full episodes, behind the scenes content, and even a few surprises, and they're just a click away. You can go now.